How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Road to Glory here on our FIFA mobile channel. Welcome back. I hope you guys will have a fantastic weekend by the way. Um, this is just an extra bonus video. If you would have seen my video around two weeks ago. I did make one. I've only made one video so far uh, in the Road to Glory covering the Hazard event. Uh, the Hazard event is a long-term event. It's an event that's going to be there for absolutely ages. It's pretty much just going to be there until you get Hazard. Uh, basically, I've been grinding it every single day. The first video you guys will have seen from me uh, a couple of weeks ago was completing the first row of the Hazard event. Uh, that did mean the 200 skill boost, the 10 gold players. Unfortunately, we didn't get any elites in there. Um, 300,000 coins, 30 common upgrade shards, uh, 50,000 XP, and then finally 200 more skill boosts. So I've been grinding uh, a little bit more. As you can see, we're up to 165 hazard points. So, so today, uh, in today's video, we're going to be completing row two, which has some fantastic rewards. Um, if you guys aren't grinding this event, I'd recommend doing it simply because uh, it's very, very easy to do. Every single day, it probably takes you about 10 minutes tops. Uh, you've got to play three skill games, which take seconds, and then you've got to, to play two games, and the rewards for it actually are very, very decent. Today was actually gold players, so we've got one gold player, two gold player, three gold player, uh, five gold player, seven gold players, um, and when the players are out, guys, I always see a lot of you guys sending me screenshots of the players that you do get from uh, the rewards, and you guys always manage to get, like, masters, insane masters from the two players... I once saw one guy get two elite Griezmanns. I didn't even know getting the same elite was possible, but he got two, not only were they elites, they were elite Griezmanns, which is absolutely disgusting. So today, we actually got really lucky in the packs that, uh, well, not packs, the games that we just did. I managed to get myself a Dzeko, uh, 82 rated elite player from the Syria. Um, unfortunately, due to the market crash, he isn't worth much on the market right now. Uh, in fact, do I have his search thing still there? Let's have a look. Um, I do. So he's currently 180, let's just call it 185,000 coins. Uh, very cheap. For an 82 elite, that is very, very cheap. Um, so without further ado, oh, and then also, there is also the games that refresh every single fortnight. Um, this week, uh, well, this fortnight, it was French tier along the top. So you had to have a 11 man French squad and beat a 100 overall team uh, and do the objectives in game. Very, very easy. Uh, you did actually get this 83 rated centre back who looks pretty decent actually. He's very tall as well, six foot three. Um, doesn't look too bad. Uh, so if you do have a French squad, that might be something that interests you. As well as that, there is also a. I wasn't able to complete. This is the harder tier, the advanced tier. It's Liga Nos squad. I was able to do the first one, uh, who was Nakajima from the Golden Week. Uh, what was he, 93? That was a couple of days ago. And as well as that, uh, Bruno Fernandes World Tour card. So I used both of those in my squad. After that, it's five Liga Nos players. And they've all got to be over 83 overall. Too expensive. Uh, but the advanced tier does give you an 89. So very good rewards there if you do the advanced tier. As we're on the road to glory, uh, we can't always do the advanced. Well, we've never been able to do the advanced tier. Um, so uh, we'll just have to do the first one there. What did that give us? A gold player and five hazard points. Uh, so let's get into it then, guys. Column, row, tier two, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, guys. We're going to be doing, let's just call it row two. Uh, so the first reward today then, guys, is going to be 30 rare shards. Uh, rare shards are for, I think... When you upgrade a player to level 5, I think. I'm not 100%. It's to do with ranking up your players. It's to do with ranking up players when they reach a certain level. Past that, I think. I'm not too sure. You guys might have to clarify that down in the comments. Um, the next reward we are going to be getting then, guys, is 500 skill boosts, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, second striker I can already see in there, which is nice. Uh, Destroyer in there, which is nice. Cap 30 Captain in there, which is even better. Um, I think number one's the best for goalkeeper. Um, no holding. Is there holding in there? Oh, did we just get no holding in there? We didn't get holding, did we? That's tough. That's very, very tough. So, unfortunately, oh, we can move upwards. Oh, 600 skill boost. Um, at the end, we've got 30 more rare shards. 
You guys will definitely have to let me know down in the comments what the rares are used for, opposed to the commons. Um, as well as that, oh, we're getting another 500 skill boosts. Very, very so that's a thousand skill boosts, guys. That's going to help the squad out massively. In there, we do have Destroyer 30. That's very nice. Holding, 30 holding in there, which is even better. That is what I want. Destroyer, Captain, holding. No second striker in there, unfortunately. Let's actually go ahead and... Oh, what do we get here? 600 skill boosts as well. Wow, okay. Very, very nice indeed. Unfortunately, that hasn't allowed us to upgrade any of our active skill boosts. We can still upgrade our captain already. Um, counter's almost there. Captain and aggression... I'm not upgrading aggression because the kanji is going to be coming out very, very soon for a holding. So all of our defenders will be on holding, uh, which are level 10. Who's on long shots? Nagbury and Kostic. I definitely would like to get that up to 11 because I really do love Kostic. And I'm also a big fan of Gnabry. Um Destroyer. I want to get both of my CDMs onto Destroyer. The only problem is Savanier, who is a centre mid, but plays in a CDM spot. He's captain. He's brilliant. He's really, really brilliant. So I don't know what I should do. You guys maybe should let me know down in the comments. Should I change to two CDMs with Destroyer, which is the best skill boost for a centre defensive mid? Or do I change to a formation with two centre mids, which you guys have said Captain is the, is the best skill boost for centre mid? Um, but yeah, Vitzel and Savania, they work very well together. It's just a shame that they're in different positions to one another. So we have to go with two different skill boosts. Um, so... Skill boosts are coming along very, very nicely. It's starting to cost a lot. It's cost f So our next upgrades for our level 10s cost 300,000 coins. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. And the level 9s that are going up to level 10s cost 300,000. And then finally, guys, the last reward, reward number 5 in the pyramid today, is an 88 rated hazard. It's the youngest brother of the three hazards. Uh, I do believe later on we can get ourselves... I think this looks like an insane card. It'd fit into our Bundesliga squad. That's a brilliant card. He's small. Good work rates for a right winger. Long passer trait. Flair trait. Long shot taker trait. In the Bundesliga. Five star weak foot. 112 pace. 107 shooting. 103 passing. 108 agility. He looks very, very nice with the attacking skill boost. Or finishing short passing, sprint speed, shot power and dribbling. That is what we're going to be working for towards in the future. But for now, guys, we're going to be unlocking the 88 rated right midfielder Hazard. Who I believe plays, yeah, he does play in the Belgian Pro League. That said, 5 star weak foot, right mid, long shot skill boost, so long shot, shot power, volley, ball control and sprint speed. 110 pace. 100 shooting, 94 passing, 100 agility. That isn't too bad. What traits does he have? Heal to heal, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't like that skill move at all. The only trait that he does have then, guys, is the speed dribbler, which is a nice trait. But being in the Belgian Pro League, it's going to be difficult linking him into players, especially as he's in this Hazard event. You can only really link him to two other players, and that's both of his other brothers. Um, and they're also, well, as we just saw, one of his brothers was a right winger. And then Eden Hazard is a left winger, I believe, who we're all working towards. Um, so let's just go ahead and throw him into the squad then, guys. Just to see. Oh, we've unlocked the next tier completely now. Um, a million coins in there. And 1,200 skill boosts. That's going to... how 50, 50, 50. It's all just 50, isn't it? So that's going to cost us 200 hazard points so we're not going to be probably making another video guys on this hazard event for quite a while but i did just want to do this on camera i want to try and show you guys as much as of what happens in the road to glory on camera as possible um so let's just throw hazard into the squad i don't think we have any so yeah he only oh so actually if we did that actually that would actually i mean that that keeps us at um that keeps us at max chemistry he does get two links. 13 out of 27. Svanier. Oh, wait. Vitzel's Belgian as well. Actually, I mean, Svanier's getting a few dead links there. 
I mean, if we wanted to, guys, we could actually fit him in. We could actually fit him in on full chem still. It'd be interesting to be able to compare his in-game stats to Gnabry's. I don't think he's going to be better, though, because Gnabry is a, a very, very high-tier card in this game. Um, but it's good to know that we've got ourselves a player who does fit in. Is he auctionable? Can't be auctioned. Hazard Master. Premium version. Even though he's not a master, he's an 88. 98 in-game. That isn't too bad. A level, level 10 skill boost on him as well. Killian Hazard. I, do you know what? I didn't know that was his younger brother's first name. I didn't know... Oh, that's awkward. I didn't know that uh, his younger brother was called that. But that, guys, is going to wrap things up for this episode. Let's just move Witzel back over there and Hiero back into the middle before I forget. That, guys, is going to wrap things up for this ep uh, well, bonus episode, I suppose, of the Road to Glory. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you do use the premium shards for or the rare shards. And as well as that, uh, how far are you guys? I'm interested to know how far are you guys in the Hazard Pyramid? Uh, you guys have seen for yourselves how far along I am. We've just been able to complete the second road today. So let me know down in the comments how close are you to Eden Hazard. Hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Until the next one, I'll be speaking just later. Take care.